What's up, guys? Uh, Dio Jr., uh, back again on Slim Shando. And uh, who am I here with? Uh, my name is Marco. Uh, I played Sky Striker. Uh, took down a 50 plus man tournament. Yeah. So it's like a Midwest regional. Yeah, basically. Yeah. But yeah, uh, let's get into the deck roll. Oh, oh, my bad. Before anything, do you have any shout outs? Oh, shout outs, yeah. Uh, shout outs to YBM, uh, Karan, of course, Dio, the man for hosting the tournaments. Uh, they're always, always super competitive, super fun to play. If you're ever in the Riverside area, come out and play. Definitely, definitely. I hope to see you guys. Uh, let's get into the deck ball. So of course we got the three Ray, the uh, one Rose. Did you ever feel like you needed a second Rose at all? Honestly, I don't even know what the card does. <laughs> okay, yeah, that may, hey, that's fair, honestly. I, it was good. It honestly helped me play against the, the Nemesis card when they okay. were called Darks. Okay. And I would normal summon this and still be able to play. Other than that, it was uh, it was just another name. Fair enough. Know. Hand traps, three Ash, three Valor, three Imperm, and then two Ghost Ogre. How did Ogre perform for you? Ogre was hit and miss against a lot of matchups, but when it came up, it was pretty high impact, hitting Sword Soul cards so that um, on their normal summon effect, hitting the Mogi and stuff like that. The Choo Choo Trap for Virtual World and just a bunch of other little interactions that I didn't see, but it came up quite a bit. Okay, cool. Still sided it out a lot though, not gonna lie. Of course, the two Dasher, yeah, three. The best, the best package, yeah. really. Yeah, honestly, this. This package for this deck is so good. It has so much synergy and you basically get to engage even when you don't get engaged, right? Striker cards, three Widow Anchor, two Shark Cannon. Shark Cannon is hella strong right now. Yeah, definitely with DP um, running around, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, at least two. PK, like yeah, it's pretty you know? good. Then a bunch of one ups, one engage, one drones, one area zero, ego booster, Afterburner, multi-roll. Did you ever feel like you needed the second Afterburner? Yeah, actually this card was hella strong. I didn't use Eagle Booster too much. Uh, Eagle Booster is best to just protect your Kagari from like an Effect Veiler and Imperm. Mm -hmm. But other than that, the Afterburner is so good because it could eventually start trading one for two. And since decks are playing like Monster Negates and Back Row, it was, it was really good. So I kind of wanted a second one. I'm, I might put that in actually. Sounds good. So, boom, got the one Terra, the Mystic Mine. Just one. Yeah, only uh, need one, honestly. This is one, yeah, you only really need one. I'm probably gonna take this card out. Uh, Striker has to play a lot of like floodgates in order to compete with a lot of the faster decks. So, but it was good. A bunch of other one ofs. Boom, 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 boom. How was, uh, was Raigeki for you? Uh, Raigeki was actually kind of MVP, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, if it wasn't trading a one for one, it just forced negates, right? Mm -hmm. And in the boards where they couldn't do anything about it, it was trading like one for three. Mm, okay. So I always like seeing it. Uh, I wish I could play more of it, obviously, yeah. but we can't. Yeah. So. But I mean, playing with the, the Widow Anchor 2 is pretty good. Yeah. Called by the Grave was actually insane. It, that card was glued to my hand and it. It could just interact so well with most things, minus like Sword Soul. Yeah. And then the God card. Absolutely, that card's yeah. actually just fantastic. Yeah, this card's insane. It's it if they don't have the out, which usually they don't, it's uh instant win button. Yeah, and you can uh, DP pop it yourself too. Exactly, and you, you could play to... you could play on your turn and yeah. stuff like that. Forty min? Forty man, yeah. Thirty nine with the upside. Yeah, definitely. Three Kagari. I kinda wanna talk about this card because this card did not resolve most of the full tournament yeah. right but it was so good at baiting out like imperm and effect failure that i was able to play with like my dpe stuff and that was enough to just win me the game yeah. so the, never resolves but you got to play it to bait out the hand traps yeah. right? and then we got uh three shizuku right uh same thing always ayata two didn't really miss the third one um one kaina and then one of this, uh, I've never used this card's effect. I just <laughs> use it to link away with my opponent's yeah. Widow Anchored Monsters yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Definitely. Then I play this package. This package didn't come up too much. A lot of times they were just hand trapping this or this, and then I would just Shark Cannon or Widow Anchor or something like that to make this anyway. Mm -hmm. So honestly, I kind of want to, I kind of want to take this guy out, uh, possibly her too, and then just play Phoenix and Unicorn because uh, Imperial Order is a card. Yeah, that card's hard. 
And then the last two, boom, boom. Of course. Uh, yeah, this card's insane. Yeah. It's so good. Draw two, pop, Dryden, pop. It's Amazing. insane. Yeah. Every turn, comes back. And sideboard, three nib. Nib is kind of hard to play in this deck just because obviously it takes up your main monster zone. Uh, so if you don't open up like a ray or a hand trap, you can't activate any of your striker cards. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really like it in the main. It's better in the side uh, against combo and stuff like that. And then we got the back row removal stuff. Uh, all this stuff outs Imperial Order, uh, which is a hard card to play around, obviously. And this card helps you play around like uh, boards, anti-spell fragrances and stuff like that. So this is just board breakers. And we got Shared Ride. Shared Ride was pretty good. It didn't have too many good matchups, unfortunately, this tournament, so I didn't side it in too much. So this card could possibly come out, but if it's powerful during a format, th this card definitely staying in the side deck. And then a little bit of spice. How was a uh, how was D Bear for you? It was pretty good, yeah. honestly. Yeah, uh, of course against Sword Soul, it was no synchro, so they can't play the game. Yeah. Uh, but even against other decks like Phantom Knights, they can't XC summon, yeah. and that puts the uh, that puts a lot of pressure on them, mm -hmm. where Sky Striker can't really give them that much pressure usually. So, Absolutely. yeah, and uh, that's the deck profile. Yeah. Any uh, any changes you'd make going forward? Yeah, I should probably play a Mystic Mine, or I I should take out Mystic Mine and put in something else. Probably like an Afterburner, or another Power Spell card or Trap card. Um, okay. And then other than that, maybe the Ghost Ogres, even though they were good. There's probably another hand trap like DD Crow. Okay, did you ever feel like you need a droplet at all, maybe for the Dragoon or something? Or yeah, that, not that's one it? thing I was thinking about, and uh, I would just usually hold the Effect Veiler for the Prep Plant Anaconda. Okay. Uh, so so long as you don't have to deal with those hard problem boss monsters with this deck, this deck will outpace any deck in the grind game, Sounds right? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for the deck profile. Hope to see you soon. Cool. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and a special thanks to all my patrons. It's because of you, after all these years, I'm still able to make this type of content. Hopefully you guys will check out some of the videos that are suggested here for you, and just remember you guys, it's not just a game, it's a lifestyle. Thanks for watching.